Creating Regular Cards You create a card by completing the desired information in the Create Index Card window and clicking Save and Close. Let's take a look around the options. Title and description are self-explanatory. Link. Here you can add a URL. If this field is populated, then the link icon will appear on the card. Now let's look at priority, status, color, and type. You can change the selection by clicking the drop-down icon and selecting your desired choice. I'd like to add a note here because this question seems to come up. The available choices are not customizable in the standard app. The reason being, it makes Just Index Cards a simpler app. That being said, we do offer a totally customizable version of Just Index Cards. Contact us if you're interested. Returning to the Creation window. Clicking the drop-down icon on the Customer or Project fields will bring up a list of QuickBooks customers or projects. You can just select one, or you can click in the field and start typing to open a filtered list. Likewise, a user can be chosen. The date fields, due date and show date, can be chosen by clicking the calendar icon and choosing a date, or by clicking on the date and directly editing. Neither date field is required, so you can remove the date and leave it blank. Editing the checkbox fields are self-explanatory, but I'll explain their particular use. Dog-eared will add a dark triangle to the upper right corner and will affect the priority sort order. More on that later. When a card is marked as archived, it will no longer show on any card list except lists of archived and recent cards. Marking a card as template will cause the card to be included in a list of template cards, and when a template card is copied, it will not be marked as template in the copy. That covers the card creation window for regular cards. You open a card creation window by clicking the copy link as shown in the previous clip or by using the card creation bar. On the right hand side of the card creation bar, the buttons general, personal, and work order will open a regular card creation window and lead will open a lead creation window. We will look at lead creation a bit later in this clip. The reason that there are multiple buttons is that the various buttons will open the window with different defaults. The hope is that you'll be able to quickly create a card. For example, clicking Personal will default to Type Personal, Priority Schedule, Status To Do, and Color Dark Gray. User is always defaulted to the logged in user and both Due Date and Show Date always default to Today. In this way, you can quickly create a personal card by clicking Personal, adding a title, maybe a few details, and then Save and Close. It's now on your list. The General button opens up the window with more generic defaults. Maybe this card is going to be for doing your monthly invoicing. Rather than just accept the defaults, we can change the priority to ASAP. The status remains to do. We set the color to light green. Leave the type general and change the show date to the first day of the month and the due date two days later, then save and close. Clicking work order has defaults similar to personal, but a different color. The other choices on the card creation bar allow you to create a card without opening a creation window. Simply type a title for your card, choose the priority, and click the quick button. A card is created with your title and general defaults, except the color is blue. When you're on a customer or project page, the card creation bar is similar with a few exceptions. The window opens with the customer already selected, and there is an interaction button that opens the window with the defaults, type interaction, color gray, and status done. This allows you to quickly log a customer interaction. That gives you an overview of creating regular cards.